Hi! It is October Favorites time. I have been meaning to get this up. It is already November 12th today, the day after Veterans Day, and it is a little bit later than most people put their favorites up, but that kind of doesn't matter, right? I can do it whenever I want. So I really had to search this month to figure out what my favorites were because I feel like I don't have a lot of new products, just a lot of things that I have been using and using up. So I kind of thought it would be boring, but then I thought like, well, it doesn't really matter because it's what I've been using. And um, October is always a hard month where I live. I live in the Midwest, and so it definitely gets that fallish feeling quite early there. I know some people are only just feeling fall now, and maybe not even if you live farther south. Um, but in October, we definitely get dry, and that just kind of makes it a bummer of a time for makeup if you already have dry skin because everything just doesn't lay right and doesn't feel right. Um, so that's what I've been kind of doing. And also, my eyes have been like dry, and so they start to water. I mean, this is kind of like gross and TMI, I suppose, but like um, they just start to water a lot. And I so I haven't been able to wear eyeshadow, and I've just been feeling very blah about that. So um, I just decided to do kind of like my quick favorites um, in terms of makeup and getting myself to just kind of look like like today. This is a typical look that I've been doing a lot. Um, very basic, clean easy, good for dry skin. So my very first thing that I went back to is the IT Cosmetics CC Cream. Can you see that? CC Plus? Is that what they call it? I'm not really sure. I'm getting to be quite, like, almost to the bottom of it, but it's so good. I use it in the color Fair. When I first swatched these, they swatch very gray, which is very off-putting. I usually wear quite a yellower, quite a yellower, a more yellow foundation but this actually because it's it's higher coverage than a normal um, you know tinted moisturizer or whatever but it is still it like blends in really nicely it actually works really well so if you are like me and didn't use this when everybody else was like getting so excited about it because it's swatched so oddly don't be afraid I would try to get it um, at like you can get samples at Sephora and they sell this kind of stuff now they weren't. I think that was new this summer, maybe. It cosmetics went into Sephora. I don't know. I'm rambling. Um, so my next product, in terms of that, would be the Smashbox. I have the tiniest little sample. The Smashbox um, primer oil, um, photo finish primer oil. This little sample has lasted me so long. I this is my second sample size this size. Um, and it lasts so long. This stuff is awesome. If you have, I don't know how it would go for dry skin, or for oily skin, but for dry skin, it has been so nice. And I actually used it all summer even, because usually I use the Kat Von D uh, Locket Foundation. And so it kind of helps that be less matte. I'm, it's like so small, I'm like struggling to hold it. But it r works really well. The only thing I'm hesitant about is I feel like I would buy that full size. But I'm wondering if it takes so long to go through, if it would go off. It doesn't say, oh, it says the expiration is 24 months, so I suppose you could go through the bigger size in two years. I don't know. So my next makeup thing is this. My It looks so ratty. I never go through products. I never use products up. This is the Wet n Wild Color Icon Blush in Rosé Champagne. It is the nicest, like, very... Look at how grody that looks, but I just, I use it all the time. Um, it's nice and shimmery, it's neutral. It's not shimmery in like an overdone way, but I feel like it blends really well in with your um, highlight. So I've been using the Champagne Pop highlight, and then I kind of put this over that, and it kind of, it like blends really well because it's shimmery. And then what I do is I go through, or go over that with, my Kat Von D Shade Light Blush. I feel like I'm the only person who actually liked these. I have been slowly collecting these um, at Marshalls. They, they're they selling them for like $6.99. And I think I've gotten all of the colors. I just got this one yesterday, Pee Off and Poe. Um, I love these. They're, they're really matte. And they're quite sheer. And I think that's maybe why... This is um, Bonnie and Clyde. And this is the one I've been using the most. So it just, it's sheer, so on my pale skin, 
it just adds a little bit more color over that sheer blush or the shimmery blush it just has a little bit of a kick to it and I freaking love these so I think if you're really pale you could make these work for you I don't really know they were pulled out of Sephora so quickly I had heard that there was a problem with the consistency of the formula I'm finding all of mine to be the exact same I think it's just people didn't like them because they were sheer um, one of my pans Mickey and Mallory I think is really loose like when you push on it it's really loose but I mean that kind of happens sometimes with blushes I love those um, and then I think last for beauty and cosmetics is the Nirvana Elizabeth and James Nirvana black I love this fragrance I will I wear this all the time I think a lot of people wear feel like this is kind of a fall winter fragrance it's a little heavier I just think it's so nice and I wear it all the time um, in fact, I was wearing it every day for probably like two months until I got the Elizabeth and James Bourbon. These, um, I mean, I know everybody talks about these all the time, so it's kind of a boring favorite, but I just find these fragrances, all three of them that I've tried, are so good, and I'm so picky with fragrance. I'm sure everybody is picky with fragrance, but I feel like I'm more so than others, where I just think things smell really bad. Um, and I just love those fragrances. I'm really intrigued to smell the rose one. Um, which I haven't done. Um, and I think in terms of beauty, that's it. I have um, some book favorites that I read, and I'm considering actually doing a separate video on one of them. But I read If I Was Your Girl. I have to take this back to the library, actually. I did a separate video on this. I really liked it. It's about a transgendered girl kind of going through high school. I would highly recommend this. It's a very easy read, um, and I think it kind of talks about some ideas, I guess, that um, maybe would help people understand someone who is transgender. I don't know. Um, I just finished this last week. It was called, or it is called, What Was Mine by Helen Klein Ross. I just randomly picked this up. It's about a woman who kidnaps a kid, not premeditated. Um, and then raises her for 21 years or something and it's told in multiple perspectives I dog-eared a page how rude it's a library book and I dog-eared the page but um, I really liked this it was kind of suspenseful a little bit suspenseful and just kind of intriguing um, and then the last one the one I want to do another video separately on is buffering by Hannah Hart I always have to check to make sure the shiny cover isn't like reflecting all the light this was so good. I read this pretty quickly and that's not commenting on the actual content. I just wanted to finish this. I wanted to read the whole thing. I think this is quite inspiring. I feel like if you are a young person you would appreciate this. Like a younger, I mean like in your 20s kind of person trying to figure everything out. I think this is awesome and I think I'm going to try to shoot a video. Shoot a video? Who am I? Um, I'm going to try to do a video on this, maybe right after, so I'll probably be wearing the same shirt. And then, super random video, I'm trying to see how long this is, um, super random favorite. I considered not putting this in, but I just stinking love it. I was walking through Target, in the, and I just kind of passed, like, the random clearance section in, near the home stuff, and I saw this, it's a lamp, and I saw it, and I was like, oh my gosh, and I think I paid... 740 or eight dollars eight or nine dollars I, I can't remember it is a stinking llama head can you see that he's got gold ears he's on a little like small wooden base it's quite a it's a smaller or a shorter lamp I put this in the bedroom and I just love it I literally he's a little bit dinged up I think probably that's why he was on clearance there were two of them left and I kind of feel like I should have gotten both of them, but like, do you need two llama lamps? I don't know. I love it. It makes me so happy. I didn't have a lamp in my bedroom, and I found that, and I was just like, it just like makes me happy every single day. You know when you find those really random things that just like make your heart happy for no apparent reason? That's what my llama lamp does. So, I guess in terms of what's on my radar for next month, I am super pumped for the Gilmore Girls Netflix little, um, I don't know if they're calling it a mini-series or what it is, 
think it starts on Black Friday. I'm so excited for that. I'm contemplating whether I want to like binge watch the whole thing or if I want to kind of savor it. They're longer episodes. I'm so excited for that. Um, I am going to place an order on teasandtankyou.com. They have the funniest little, they have all sorts of like holiday um, clothing items. They do like t-shirts, like basic t-shirts, baseball t-shirts, and like sweatshirts and things like that. And they just have some of the cutest stuff. There's one with the narwhal from e.l.f. that says, bye buddy, I hope you find your dad. And um, there's like some Grinch ones, there's Harry Potter ones. And it's for all different holidays. You can buy Thanksgiving ones. You can buy uh, St. Patrick's Day. I was going to say Leopard Leprechaun Day. That's dumb. Um, they just have some really cute stuff. Uh, they have, like, these little enamel pins that I want to get. I'm thinking even for uh, Christmas presents that would be really cute. Super excited about that. I'll probably do that if, within the next week or so. And maybe I could do a haul video on it. I'm so excited. This is a little bit farther out, but I'm so excited for vlogmas videos in December. I love vlogmas. I think that was like the best idea. I think in Ingrid Nielsen came up with it and I just love that people have embraced it so much so I am really looking forward to that. Um, the Kat Von D Alchemist palette I believe is coming out in December and it's been very like under wraps. Nobody has really seen what's inside of it. It looks really cool. The packaging looks super cool. She does packaging really really well. Um, and I'm really excited to see what's inside of it. I'm hoping it's as cool. It's kind of holographic on the outside. So I'm hoping it's like a similar theme on the inside. And then in terms of books, the things that I, I just started reading Truly Madly Guilty by Leanne Moriarty, I think is the author's name. I just started reading that. I've read a couple of her other ones. Um, I think she did Big Little Lies and The Husband's Secret. And those two I really liked. So I'm just reading that. And then I really want to read Just Kids by Patti Smith. I have it on the Kindle. It's like sitting there ready to go. I just haven't made time to read it, but that is definitely on my radar. People love it when they've read it. They love it and they give it such good reviews. So I'm looking forward to that. Otherwise, I don't think I have anything else. I kind of feel like this was a little bit rushed, so I hope it wasn't. Um, I hope that whenever I put this up, I hope that you are having a happy day. I hope that some of these reviews help. I never know. I feel like I don't know what I'm doing yet. Um, but I just really like this. I don't know. So I hope that someone enjoys this. And that's all. Have a good day. All right. Bye.